We were interested in improving dialysis treatment in the United Kingdom. Patients with kidney failure who receive dialysis or have a kidney transplant have decreased survival and a number of other health conditions. We'd previously identified using UK data that there was a variation in how long you would survive according to which dialysis unit you went to. And other researchers internationally had found that you were more likely to be admitted to hospital or die according to a particular day of the week. We were interested in using patient data in order to understand these problems. In order to reliably understand, you need large amounts of patient data. We were already collecting information on patients using a large disease registry called the UK Renal Registry, which relied on clinicians inputting data about their patients. We linked this to information on patients being hospitalised, which is routinely collected in order to assess hospital performance. I dialyse at the moment on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays mornings and I notice uh, because there's a two day gap on Saturdays and Sundays that I'm obviously taking more fluid on board so they take more fluid off during dialysis and the effect on me is significant. What we learnt about the increase in hospitalisation and death after the two day break also dovetailed nicely with what patients were telling us. Patients told us that they felt more nauseous after the two days without dialysis and often when they went home they felt more tired after the dialysis treatment, removing two days worth of fluid and toxins from their body. Everybody has this sort of three day issue that I have and sharing patient data uh, with the research uh, will certainly benefit everybody that's on hemodialysis. Patient data is incredibly valuable to researchers in order to conduct the vital research that needs to be done on health conditions here in the UK. Unfortunately, patients continue to die while we're trying to understand these problems. Using patient data means that we can start conducting research and understanding diseases quicker.